Just as you can see, now this is the Airbus that has flown in the remains of uh, Jacob Lokoli Olanya. And um, here is where we are. Now, what is going to happen here is um, the body of Jacob Lokoli Olanya is going to be um, offloaded from uh, this particular Airbus here that has uh, brought it in here. Uh, it will re be received with all the honors. And um, because what is happening to us is, is very uh, unique, alien, and of course, uh, it's something that none of us um, has been to or none of us has witnessed. So um, whatever is going to happen here is, is something that um, all of us just need to look at, follow, and learn. Because uh, Jacob Lokoli Olanya um, has, is the first um, uh, speaker of parliament to die while in office and of course died out of the country so we just want to see what happens, what is done, uh, what are the things that are supposed to be done and, and of course that is what we are seeing here. So um, lots of things are happening here. We've uh, seen some senior officers from uh, the Uganda police force and I think these um, will be charged with receiving the remains and when they get the remains from uh, this airbus here uh, they will be driven to uh, the other side of the airport at uh, the VIP airport where uh, we will still be able uh, to now see what happens and uh, hand it over to uh, the funeral services and again uh, see what continues to happen until um, Jacob Lokoli Olanya uh, gets buried on uh, Friday 8th um, next week. Uh, just like you can see, um, where my camera is uh, focusing now is uh, that is now the cargo compartment um, where you see uh, the staff of uh, CAA now uh, getting in. And, and that's where we expect to receive the body of uh, the late um, Lokori Jacob Olanya, uh, the foreign speaker of parliament. And um, very shortly and very soon. Now, I've seen um, an officer here from uh, the Uganda Police Force, Afan Devasa Adirwa. And um, he's with somebody that I can't recognize now because we're putting on masks and of course um, we are donned in uh, these uh, reflectors um, just to be able to um, be allowed to be at the airside here. Uh, there are quite a number of staff here. When you look at what is happening at the airport now, very busy. Um, all the staff, uh, the workers here uh, for uh, the CAA and of course NHAS and us and all the others, um, all gathered here um, waiting to see. Um, like I heard you guys say, it is the first time that this is actually happening to us. Now, now, very shortly, as you can see, is uh, uh, the plane here has uh, already uh, parked, taxed, and um, ready. Uh, the cargo compartment has been opened uh, to be able to um, bring out uh, the remains of Jacob Olanya. Now, the officer standing just next right there at the stairs that go into uh, the cargo compartment, like I said, is Afande um, Basalirwa. Now, Afande Basalirwa um, is holding uh, the Uganda national flag. Of course, those are the colors that will be um, put on the cascade of uh, um, uh, Jacob Olanya as, as received. Very shortly, we are actually waiting to see, and, and that's one of the moments uh, that um, all of us and all Ugandans are waiting to see um, finally when the body of uh, Olanya uh, returns to uh, the country after um, uh, so many days since uh, he met his death in Seattle, Washington, in the United States um, of America. Now, now this is airport here. Uh, security is indeed very, very, very tight. Um, quite a number of people we actually do not know what is happening in the terminals because business must be paralyzed here. Uh, business must be paralyzed. We, we do not know what, what um, really is um, happening there because everybody, um, especially uh, for uh, the airport staff, the airside staff, and, and the other people uh, who work around here, uh, all here waiting to see. And, and that's the beehive of activities as uh, we now wait to see. And, and very shortly, um, you will be able uh, to actually see uh, the remains of uh, Jacob Olanya being uh, gotten out of the cargo here. And of course, um, as, as you can also see, it is the same plane that uh, brought in uh, passengers um, flying in through um, Bole Airport in Ethiopia. And, and of course, um, those arriving here um, being gotten out of here and see what um, happens uh, next after uh, we've received um, the remains and the body of uh, Jacob Lokoli Olanya. The, the Chief Justice is here, uh, the Minister, uh, State Minister for Foreign Affairs, um, Okelo Riem, um, of course, and, and of course, family members, uh, family members uh, from uh, the late Jacob Olanya. And uh, these are the people, of course, that have been waited for here uh, to receive the body of uh, Jacob Olanya. And uh, so very shortly hereafter, uh, we will now uh, see uh, the body being gotten and offloaded from uh, uh, the plane and uh, the rest of the things will continue to happen. As, as you can also notice, it, it's, it's quite noisy here, um, but nonetheless, we are at the airside and um, the purpose shall be achieved and we will do 
um, necessarily what we are is supposed to do and how we are supposed to do it exactly. As you can see, one of the people who are here to receive uh, the body of uh, uh, the late uh, Right Honorable Jacob Bolanya is uh, the former Vice President, um, His Excellency Edward Ichwanuka Sekandi um, is uh, also here and, and several other leaders, um, politicians, uh, members from the civil society, family members. The Vice President um, is just right here and of course the others representing the cultural leaders who did not um, make it and who did not uh, be able to come just right here. It, it's a very somber moment and of course um, it, it's an emotional moment. As you can see the speaker um, can't just hold the emotions. Uh, the Chief Justice here, uh, Winnie Chegamon uh, uh, Dolo, um, also feeling very terrible about it. It is really um, a very somber moment and it is um, a very sad moment. Now this is uh, the moment of reality uh, because from the time when we heard that um, Jacob Bolanya had passed away and died, um, we, we could only just um, hear about it. Now that the body is here, uh, it also comes along with um, very different um, emotions as you can see. It is really a very hard time uh, for the people. But the government officials here um, to receive uh, the body of Olanya um, are being led by uh, the vice president, um, Major Retired Jessica Aluko, um, and the former vice president, Edward Chuanuka Sekandi, the speaker of parliament, the chief justice, um, cabinet ministers, uh, the minister of ICT, um, just right here, Dr. Mario Munsi. Uh, Mokel Oriem uh, from Foreign Affairs and, and, and of course quite a number. So here is where we are and um, just just uh, prepping and getting ready uh, to uh, go and receive uh, uh, the body. But just before we came to the airside here, I had an opportunity to go to a tent where I was told the family of Jacob Balanya um, were put or oh, they were ushered to sit and wait. Um, I didn't really uh, be very keen to know who is there and who is not there. But I think um, that's one of the things that we will um, find out at the moment we uh, move to where it is. The commotion and uh, what is happening here is actually to receive uh, the body. None of us knows what to do and how to do it and maybe what um, is, is all done. But like I told you, um, here it, it's just um, a moment of um, e emotions. You, you can't imagine, um, you can't imagine um, what uh, the people are going through. But we will be able to know who from the family is here and um, who is possibly not here. I have seen um, uh, uh, the, the Honorable Flight uh, Captain George Mike Mukula. I can also see um, Honorable Christopher Yomunsi, um, who is also a SEC member, a Vice Chairperson for Western Uganda. And, and I'm thinking, uh, because the delegation, as we are here, people don't in masks, uh, people putting on very differently, and people putting on glasses because of the emotions. But I'm very sure and, and suspicious that um, there are members of uh, the um, NRM Central Executive Committee uh, that are here. But at least I have seen um, Honorable George Mike Mukula, and I can also see, I can also uh, see uh, uh, Honorable Dr. Chris uh, Bariomunsi. So, uh, but, but of course the lead of the delegation here, uh, the person in charge of receiving the remains of Jacob Olanya, is uh, the vice president so everybody here comes at westcott and to give company uh, to her excellency the vice president um, jessica alupo and of course in the company of um, her immediate predecessor uh, edward chwanuka the second as you can see just just as you can see now here is where we are it is now the moment of reality uh, the vice president the, the the vice president the speaker of parliament the chief justice uh, the former vice president, um, members of the family, cabinet members, uh, members of tech, and all the other dignitaries um, are all here now uh, to receive um, the body of uh, Jacob Olanya. And uh, very shortly, here is where it is um, going to happen. And this is the moment, of course, uh, that uh, the whole nation has uh, been waiting for. And this is a moment that everybody has been waiting to see. It is the reality that um, the body finally is now um, here. Um, here is where we are to actually just receive that. Like I told you earlier on, it is a, a very emotional moment uh, for the family, uh, for the friends, uh, for uh, comrades, uh, for the country at large, as uh, you can see. Um, of course, members here um, coming from uh, Lango and Acholi sub-regions um, also have uh, uh, sent in delegations uh, to be part of uh, receiving uh, the body of uh, Jacob Lokoli uh, Olanya, which very shortly uh, will be now uh, disembarked from uh, 
uh, this um, Airbus 350ET, um, ET334, that um, brought in uh, the remains of uh, Jacob Lokoli Olanya. I'm here now, finally, uh, the body of Olanya um, has been offloaded uh, from uh, this um, aircraft here. Uh, this day at exactly uh, 2.30. It is exactly 30 minutes after the hour of uh, 2 o'clock here now. And uh, so this is what happens now. This body is going to be received by the vice president. And when we get the body from here, uh, the body will be driven uh, to uh, the VIP uh, section of the airport, as uh, you can see. What a very sad moment and what um, a very somber day uh, for the country of Uganda, for the family of Jacob Bolanya, for the National Resistance Movement, uh, for uh, members of parliament and of course for all of us Ugandans um, when we come here uh, to receive uh, the remains of Jacob Lokoli uh, Olanya as, as, as um, you can uh, see. Now here is the body and um, uh, like we told you uh, Don in the colors here and uh, one of the people that I saw go do that was a fan is a video from the Uganda Basari, I beg your pardon, from the Uganda police force and so um, here is where we are we now wait to know and to see uh, the processes, the protocols and the procedure of um, handing over this body officially uh, to the government of Uganda. As you can see, like I told you, it is very um, uh, somber, it's a very sad moment here and a very emotional event uh, for um, members of the family, members of the cabinet, uh, comrades, uh, fellow uh, members of parliament, um, the speaker of parliament, Anita Aneta Monk, and naturally not just stand this. Um, she's really so heartbroken and she's really broken down uh, to see what is happening here uh, to her former boss and uh, of course also a uh, comrade and workmate. So here is where we are and uh, uh, we will know all the other details um, hereafter. But now uh, the body is being uh, driven that way uh, by one of the airside staff uh, to uh, be handed over to uh, the vice president of Uganda.
Well, um, gentlemen, thank you very much. Now, it is official that the body of Jacob Lokolio Lanya has been handed over to uh, the government of Uganda, received by the vice president just right now. And of course, as you can see, uh, being put in one of uh, the heresies here of uh, the year plus. Um, just to get here, it, it was driven by um, a near side uh, driver, uh, Mr. Patrick Katushabe, who works with um, um, NHAS and, and NAS just right here. So what is going to happen here is uh, now that the body has been received, we are going to go back to um, uh, the uh, VIP side where uh, the rest of the ceremonies are going to be done. We are now at the VIP um, section um, where um, Her Excellency, the Vice President of Uganda, the Speaker of Parliament, uh, the Chief Justice of Uganda, and of course um, all the other um, ministers, uh, members of the family, religious leaders, member from uh, Acholi, Lango, and everywhere, of course, uh, the whole of the country here. And... Uh, very briefly, what is going to happen here is um, the body will officially be received here. Now, what we also need to know and appreciate is um, Olanya is a man of fasts. That uh, it is the first time that um, a body is being received and, of course, brought through uh, the VIP here. Uh, all those who have uh, been brought back into the country uh, normally have been received at the airside where we've been and driven away to be taken. This is indeed uh, the first time uh, that um, the remains of. Uh, um, anybody are going to be received here at uh, the VIP uh, section. It has never happened here. It is just going to happen uh, for the first time. Um, notably, among the delegations that are here to receive the body of uh, the late um, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, uh, the Secretary General of the Uganda Kings and Cultural Readers uh, Forum, uh, the Right Honorable um, Ambassador uh, George, uh, a team. Um, he's here. And of course, um, we've been told that he's representing uh, the um, King of Lango, uh, the cultural leader of Lango, His Royal Highness, um, Jonas, uh, Yosam uh, Odur, who is a colonel Now, the uh, uh, the Kings and Cultural Leaders uh, Forum is uh, what brings together all um, cultural institutions and cultural leaders in this country. Um, earlier on, Dugu Akol, uh, you asked me about the Central Executive Committee of uh, the National Resistance Movement. But as I can see here, uh, just standing next to um, the Chief Justice is uh, uh, the um, Secretary General of uh, the NRM Party. Um, Richard Trudong, uh, standing uh, just next to the former Vice President here, um, Edward Juanuka as secondi, as uh, you can see. So um, I think all the other uh, sections of persons are being um, represented here. So there will be no much exercise happening here. So what will really happen is um, when the body will be received here. Now, you will see we have um, close to uh, 20 um, senior police officers here and all of them at the rank of assistant commissioners of police. Uh, those are the ones who have been charged with this responsibility and the duty uh, to receive the body of uh, the right honorable uh, Jacob Lokoli um, Olanya. When they receive the body, it will just come right in front of the vice uh, president here and the speaker of parliament, um, right honorable Anita Anet Among, and um, what will be done here is they will bow and uh, after that uh, the body will be uh, driven away uh, to the funeral home and that will be now the official return of the remains of um, Jacob Olanya uh, back here into uh, the country. There will not be much exercise or much activity except apart from uh, receiving um, the body just right here. Ndugu, a call and um, Twitter, anything from you, back to studios. Yes. Yep. Um, and Dugwa call. Um, as 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 we can now get you to know, 
um, the body of uh, the, the late um, Honorable Jacob Olagi is now arriving here. And of course, um, from a distance, we'll try to uh, get our cameras just right there uh, to see uh, the traditional dancers uh, from uh, uh, the sub-region uh, are going to receive him. And um, now, now this is culture. Uh, I am not very competent enough uh, to uh, actually um, be able to tell you what type of dance that is and uh, what type of songs they will be singing but all we know is um we will see as uh, the car is, uh, the, the the body is being driven uh, past them then of, of course there will be that cultural performance uh, that will be done uh, by uh, the cultural uh, group until when the body just gets here onto the red carpet where like we said it will be received and escorted and saluted by um, officials and officers senior officers from the uganda police force and like i said all of them are at the rank of assistant commissioners of police as um, that can be done well i've been told that is actually the bola dance and um it it, it is um the culture one of the cultural uh, dances of course and um uh, from what is known and what has been said is um, the late right honorable Olanya had actually mastered uh, the art of um, a performance and dancing, especially to the tunes of uh, the Bola and uh, those others as um, we have already heard from the people and from those who uh, really uh, know him. Um, let's see, let's watch and uh, back to you Matuta, uh, we will um, come back when the body gets closer uh, to where we are here. Wanji? Eh, hey, Mundet. Well, um, thank, thank, thank you very much. As uh, you, you can now be able to see 
the body of Jacob Lokoli Olanya now here arrives, uh, of course, um, being escorted by the cultural uh, performers here, doing the bola dance, one of the very cherished cultures of our societies uh, from uh, the Langu and Acholi subregions, as, as you can see. Now, the body is supposed to be received here by um, Reverend Canon Willie Akena. Uh, Reverend Canon Willie Akena um, is, is from the Diocese of Northern Uganda, and uh, that is in Gulu. Uh, but of course, uh, the main celebrant here is going to be Bishop Godfrey Lawum, also from uh, the Diocese of Northern Uganda, as uh, you can see. Now, now that is um, what is, is really happening here and um, once the body is received we got uh, the preliminary uh, program and now it's going to be here uh, from um, Dr. Christopher Yomunsi who uh, told us uh, what um, is, is going to happen so th there's not going to be uh, making any speeches around here and um, what happens is that the body will be received um, like we told you earlier on um, at exactly um, to a 2.30 um, that's about 25 minutes ago uh, this body was offloaded from uh, uh, the um, Airbus uh, 350 ET 334 uh, um, from Ethiopia um, or the Ethiopian Airlines and uh, it was received and handed over to the government of Uganda in the presence of uh, the Vice President, uh, the Speaker of Parliament, the Chief Justice, uh, the former Vice President and uh, the other uh, national leaders who are here to receive it. As you can see, uh, the parade that is being mounted here is uh, uh, the parade is done by um, um, Assistant Commissioners of Police um, who are receiving uh, the body and uh, then of course a Bishop Godfrey Lawum uh, will uh, do uh, the mini celebration um, and, and of course we wait to see what um, happens here then. But like I told you, um, it is the first time that um, a body is being received on uh, this staff at the VIP section of uh, the airport here. It has never happened before. Uh, this is uh, the very first in our history and for those of you writing history, this is the first. I want to remind you that uh, 51 years ago yesterday, uh, Uganda was receiving the body of uh, uh, Sir Edward Mutesa um, uh, yesterday 31st of March in 1971 and uh, so this happens exactly uh, 51 years later when we uh, receive the body of uh, uh, Jacob Lokoli um, Olanya uh, here at, uh, at the VIP uh, section at the airport as, as you can see. Now um, we will see the body now being rolled on uh, this red carpet uh, just right here. Um, through the parade, mounted by senior police officers, and just to go straight and direct to um, where the vice president is, and uh, the bishop will say something, they will bow to it, and the body will now be officially handed over to um, the funeral home um, of a plus, then uh, the rest of the events will continue to happen. Let's uh, be part of uh, the parade here very briefly. Let's see the ceremonies. Thank you very much. Now that's um, the uh, uh, performance of uh, the, the official uh, parade performance by um, the assistant commissioners of police, as uh, you can now see. So now um, officially uh, the body is being rolled onto uh, the red carpet to where uh, the vice president is and of course to um, where the bishop um, really is. It, it's, it's a very sad moment, especially for the family. Uh, there are members of the family here who have uh, really broken down. And uh, like we said, it is a moment of reality. Uh, from when we heard that um, Jacob Bolanya had died uh, in hospital in Seattle, in uh, the United States of America. Um, to many people, maybe um, it, it was uh, a dream of sorts. But uh, when we see the body here, it just uh, confirms and tells. This is the moment of reality that uh, the body of Bolanya returns to the country. Um, being escorted here
by um, officers from uh, the Uganda Police Force. And uh, there is not going to be much activity here. There is not going to be much activity except receiving the body and, of course, um, handing it over to the funeral home. Then the rest of the programs will continue to um, happen as uh, we uh, were told before uh, by the organizing committee that is led by the Minister of the Presidency eh, and how it will happen. Jacob Olanya will be buried on Friday at uh, his ancestral home in Lalogi village in Moro County in Agulu um, district and that's where it's going to be. I saw um, here we are and of course waiting uh, on to where uh, Bishop uh, Lawom actually is uh, to um, receive uh, the body to um, the, the last bit of um, what is supposed uh, to happen here as, 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 as we can see. So as uh, you can see um, Yeah, it is a very emotional, like we told you before, um, the speaker, the, the, the speaker of parliament um, is, is indeed very broken. Um, she is really very broken, very emotional. It's a very uh, tough and tight moment uh, for um, her and, and of course all the others I've um, seen. Uh, the Honorable Minister of Health, uh, Jen Ruth Chengo Chero, also uh, very um, heartbroken, emotionally broken. Uh, but of course, um, it is a time now to mourn, as scriptures say. There is a time for everything. Uh, there is a time to laugh and there is a time to mourn. So for this country of Uganda, it is now the time uh, to mourn, as you so I give a befitting send off uh, to uh, the fallen um, speaker. Thank you, Lord, for every effort that was put in place to save his life. But it was time for him to go. And now, as a family, as a church, and as a nation of Uganda, Father, we are heartbroken. And we are praying, Lord, that you will give us the grace to be able to bury our brother with dignity and with honor and to the glory of your name. May you strengthen everybody who is here. May you strengthen the members of the family and the Ugandan family at large, that Lord, we will know that you reign even in this situation. May your glory be seen in all of these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um... Bishop Lawom has uh, said that prayer. Uh, Bishop Lawom, uh, my god friend, he's uh, from uh, Northern uh, Diocese in Gulu. And of course, that's the home district of uh, Jacob Alaya. So um, that was the only exercise happening here. So what you see now is uh, the body is being led to uh, the heresy here of the A+, where it will be uh, driven. So officially, the body has been handed over, and here it is. Um, a very tight moment. I have um, seen one of the ministers here, um, Betty Amongi, um, also um, very heartbroken, very emotionally uh, broken. And um, well, that, that's um, what is actually um, happening um, right here. Uh, the tradition is indeed very different uh, that uh, the Bola dancers um, have a company and have seen this. So the body of, of Alanya is being received. Thank you very much, um, Asante, officially. 
Now that's um, the, the final uh, ceremony here at, uh, at the airport, the official, um, res, um, the official reception of uh, the body of uh, Jacob Bolanya. It's now being put into uh, the funeral car here and it will be driven away from here as um, you can see. And um, people are taken to uh, Well, um, that, 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 that's really what happens here, and uh, it, it is indeed a very big loss, and as you can see, um, it, 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 it is what has been happening, and uh, of course, um, that, that, that's what it is like. Um, very sad, and of course, uh, some of the people here, what, what is this performance that you've been doing for the people to actually know? The, the, this is a, 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 a war dance, it's a, a dance of celebration, uh, it's a victory dance, which is in a, a Chile tradition is, a, is one of those uh, that is used for escorting our heroes and our elders. Okay. When you call it a war dance and when you call it a victory dance, yes. Um, it is like at the same time a royal dance. Yes. A dance normally performed yes. in a royal function. Yes. And especially to give respect to the person who has due honor. Yes. In this particular occasion, we have lost a champion, we have lost a hero, we have lost a man of the people. We have lost a man who, who can, his place can never be replaced. Yes. So that is what the royal traditional team from Machuli South Prison came to give him honor, to give him that due respect, to, to tell the world that this gentleman was a royal family, yes. was a royal man, yes. was a man of the people, he stood for the people, he spoke for the people, he stood the test of time. And that is why the entire people come to give him due respect. Yes. And that is why the dance is performed. How do you manage to do that dance, the royal dance, at the same time while mourning and crying? Because to other cultures, like the culture that I come from, um, when we're mourning, it, it's really mourning and crying and, and you don't expect anybody to actually dance. How do you manage to do uh, the dancing at the same time, uh, the mourning? Uh, of course, of course people, people know how to dance already. It, they have been practicing for quite a long time. And this is not uh, a dance that maybe they have started yesterday, they have started last month. Okay. It is a traditional dance. Even the younger kids, the upbringing, they normally train them uh, this kind of the traditional dance. For us to be able to give an honor, especially to the passion that has been due to the people. And especially to the passion that have done a lot of great things to the royal people. And so in this case, they laid the right Honorable Jacob Holanya is a commander for the people of Achuli. He's a man with vision. He's a champion. He fought for us. He, he, he brought peace and reconciliation where we did not expect. And that is why today, as we stand on this ground to receive him with that honor, we thank God for his life. And we thank God for the impacts of his works in this country and beyond. So we are glad that God in his grace will take him to heaven. Thank you very much, Honorable, again, uh, from Agago, from Agago County. Uh, thank you so much, Honorable.